going on Falcon fans, it's your boy Rakundu coming back at you with another video. So today we're going to talk about some quick Atlanta Falcon news. Then we're going to talk about Richie Grant and how the addition of Jesse Bates can help make this be Richie Grant's best season and his first three seasons here in the Atlanta Falcons. So guys, with that being said, if you have not already, go ahead and please subscribe to this channel. Please hit the notification bell so you know how to drop another video. Please hit the like button so I know you guys that hear what I talk about. Then please share my video about the YouTube universe so more people can come in and hear me talk about these Atlanta Falcons. So guys, as we already know, it's not new. The Atlanta Falcons have made more roster moves going into a training camp, um, which is going to be next month. They're currently on their break. However, they're still making roster moves that was actually... Um, brought forward today by the media and things like that so we're going to talk about it um you know they have released austin honey justin marshall and they place avery williams on the ir which gives them three roster spots where and we all know that they tried out seven guys doing the um, mandatory mini camp this this past week and they actually signed chris blair we talked about him earlier guy who played with xfl um, this past spring, 26 passes, 594 yards, three touchdowns, average about 24 yards per catch, big play guy, three touchdowns, you know, had to spend a stint with the, the Green Bay Packers coming in. Like I said, we all know the Falcons are trying to find that so-called diamond or rub, somebody that they can come in and get hungry that want to make this roster roster and you know they're gonna actually compete for their, their job so you love to see a lot of fact bring guys in and trying to compete for those those you know bottom depth positions and Chris Blair is a guy that definitely can do that um they also brought in Albert Huggins played 14 games with the Philadelphia Eagles Detroit Lions and the New Orleans Inks, of course um he had 19 tackles and during their stint um, and two quarterback hits so in 2021. So another guy added to that defensive line that that competition in D, D line room at the at the bottom depth position is going to be really really interesting to see. Can't wait to see it. But the more you guys you got, you know, because what you want to try to create is having fresh bodies come up, and then you don't really really lose a beat, right? You got guys that come in, and you can keep fresh bodies, you know, to stop the run and go after the quarterback. That's really what we like to see. So bringing in a guy like Albert Huggins, just creating more competition on the bottom half of the def at defensive line position. And then last but not least, they brought in Matthew Trickett, a guy they had brought in earlier trying out. It's going to give some some relief to Young Wei Ku during the springtime, during this camp period. So, so he won't have to do so much kicking um, to come out. Um, a guy that played in college actually had – Miss made 15 to 18 of his kick at the collegiate level, um, collegiate le level, and he also made all 46 of his extra points. So a guy bringing in, I feel like this is just a guy that gives some some actual rest to Young Way Cool coming in another leg for doing training camps. But this is a good signing. Never know, guy that come in injuries always happen. Guy that knows the system, knows the special team, knows the long snapper, knows the holder come in. And, you know, if anything was to happen to Young Way Koo, somebody that can come in and actually fill in this role. So, um, welcome to the 90-man roster. Matthew Trickett, all these guys. Training camp is going to be fun. We can't wait to see um, all these battles across all these different positions when training camp start. But... The day what I really want to talk about is Mr. Richard Grant, third year pro out of UCF coming in. We all know Richard Grant's story. Second round pick by the Atlanta Falcons three years ago. Um, first season, did not see a lot of playing time. Dean Pease felt like um, didn't know the system well as he needed to know it. And he didn't want to put him out there. Um, you kind of like that from your coaching staff. Don't want to have a guy fail you know, early in his career. Make sure he understands what he's doing, then come out and actually, you know, excel at the things he do. And if you see what happened last year for Richie Grant, that's exactly what took place. Um, Full-time starter for Richie Grant, played all over the field, played single high, 
played the nickel and played the box actually where he actually excelled in the box the things that Richard Grant was able to do in the box is where his bread and butter at um, he actually was second on the team in tackles with 123 behind Rashawn Evans so you know that this is where Richard Grant probably plays his best in the box um, sending him on blitz he blitzed a lot last year at that pl at that spot inside the box also his ability to be phys physical in the line of scrimmage you love that six six um, feet tall 200 pounds good box safety you love to see his ability to um to come down and stop the run a lot of plays tackle for losses things like that so you love to see um, Richie Grant and his most um best position and that's what you want to do in the NFL you get a guy um, and you want to play them to their strengths and Richard Grant his strength is playing in the box he also had seven pass defense he was tied for a team lead with two interceptions last year so his his ball skills are definitely something that we can definitely use in this secondary this this year but Richard Grant playing in the box playing off tight ends being able to play closer to the line of scrimmage to help in the run game is really, really going to benefit Richie Grant the most, but it's also going to benefit the Atlanta Falcons defense as a whole. The reason why this is so important because the ability of Jesse Bates to play that single high safety and quarterback the defense like we want him to do with his experience is definitely going to let Richie Grant shine a little bit more. So that's why I think Richie Grant is potentially could have one of his best seasons so far in these three years, um, we know he's coming up on a contract next season. So you want to come out and put, you know, the, everything together as as a um that box safety. This, in my opinion, probably could be one of the biggest seasons for Richard Grant. I mean, when you draft a guy in the second round, you expect him to be a, you know starter for your team and give you significant playing time, you know. And, and actually have some kind of contributions to success of your team. So that's what we saw from Richard Grant last year. And I believe the addition of Jesse Bates is definitely just going to have him put in his his perfect spot, play, playing that box safety and do the things that he, he does so well. And like I said, those things is coming off blitzes, being real physical in the run game, and being able to um, – Guard those tight ends and things coming off the line of scrimmage. So, guys, interested what you think about Richard Grant? Do, do you think he have the potential to actually have that breakout season with the addition of Jesse Bates playing in his natural position? That that box safety where he can actually wreak havoc closer to the line of scrimmage, being that physical physical guy that we definitely could utilize. Him playing this spot kind of alleviate. You know, the loss of a guy like Isaiah Oliver, physical guy that was playing nickel. A guy like Richard Grant definitely can come in and be utilized in that same sense. Um, the Atlanta Falcons have been playing a lot of three safety looks, especially when you go to nickel and things like that. So a guy like Richard Grant playing closer to the block. Um, Jalen Hawkins thought maybe a guy that's going to be on the bubble, but um, he may get a little significant more playing time as well. If they go to that big nickel look, playing the three safeties. Um, but the addition of Jesse Bates is really what's going to help Richard Grant reach his potential. Um, and I and I love the way he's going to be utilized, hopefully this year. So, guys, let me know what you think about Richard Grant. Can he have that breakout, breakout season, um, that jump from year two to year three? And This is your boy, Ricondo, coming back at you another